Hi everybody. It's a beautiful Saturday here in upstate New York. Um, all the leaves are changing and everything. I'm bringing you a haul video. I was able to get out yesterday. Um, I had the day off. So I was able to go to uh, Salvation Army and a, a really great garage sale and a place, another uh, thrift store here um, was called Bethel Thrift. And so I had a really good uh, day thrifting and garage selling. So I'll bring what I have and I may have this at my um, sale on Sunday at 4 p.m. Eastern here on my Reclaim Treasures by Mary. So the first I thought was really awesome with the, oh boy. <laughs> These with the, um, the eggs, the like the cracked egg kind of look. And this thing is humongous. I've never seen one this big, like as big as my hand. And um, it's really nice. Of course, when I go to film something, right, there's like cars going by. All, any other time, it would just be like nothing's going by. But this is a nice quiet spot to, well, I thought, <laughs> was a quiet spot to sit and not in the direct sunlight. So, But this, there was also a second one. So it's like a, a mommy and a baby one. <laughs> and this one says made in Japan. So they're the same design. It's like, what, wow, what a difference. <laughs> and then I was able to find another one. It's the same people. This is from the garage sale. And this is a Lefton. So this one's kind of neat. Unfortunately, um, the flowers didn't, they look pretty good, you know, from afar. But if you get up close, they've had some chipping. So... I don't know. I, would anybody actually be, still be interested in the, the left in one, even though there's the flowers are chipped? I don't know. If you are, you know, leave it in the comments. <laughs> so that was one thing, which was really nice. And I kind of, I found this at that garage sale. This was pretty cool. It's like a, a Cardinal um, canister and it really doesn't have any markings except for the really nice looking um, cardinal on the front. So, oh, and I found another left in. This one was at one of the uh, thrift stores I went to. And it's such a cute little seashell. And the seashell on the bottom, it has the three feet and the left in and the numbers on the bottom there. And then this is the top. And this one seemed to fare a little better than the, the egg cup um, because those flowers fared a little better, I think. <laughs> so this was very beautiful. Nice little trinket box. So those are some of the things I got. And the, what the really cool thing was is at the, the one thrift store, it was 50% off and I was like, oh boy, yay. So I went back and got a couple other things. This is beautiful vase. It says it is made in Japan and it has flowers and a butterfly. Nice indented uh, picture and the gold and the gold on the top. There's only one itty bitty little chip right there, but it's really beautiful, I think. And that one was made in Japan. That one's nice. And then these I thought were awesome. There's like so strange combination here. They're made in Japan. They're salt and pepper shakers, but the bottom is wooden and the top is ceramic with the, the blue like Japanese look. So it's very, very interesting salt and pepper shakers. Sorry about that guys. I just... <laughs> And we have the little stoppers at the bottom. So I just thought these were so interesting. <clears throat> and then we go from Japan to Poland, I think. Let's see. Yes, these are those beautiful little heart-shaped trinket boxes. 
has beautiful flowers and blue and greens and it is handmade in Poland. So that's gorgeous. And then I found something that I was kind of interesting to me was these cute little trink, I don't know if they're trinket dishes or for candles or what, but they're Avon. If you can see the Avon there. And there's two of them. And they have these very pretty flowers all in, all around. And there's two of those. So I thought they made, I don't know if they're for candles or just trinket dishes and kind of neat because you have a, a deeper um, well or indent there. And then you could even turn them over and have like a um, candle sitting there. So that's really cool. And that was, those came from the one thrift store. And then this, now I know it's not Avon, because um, it said it's made in Taiwan, but look at this. It's a, it's a, um, I wanna say a flask, but that's not what it is, like a decanter. And it's an, an eagle, it's really cool, in green. And at the bottom, it says made in Taiwan. I thought this was really awesome. I thought it was really cool. They did have some other decanters there, but they weren't I, what I, I didn't think they were as cool as that guy, so. <laughs> and um, I picked this up at that garage sale. Now I know it's probably so silly <laughs> and there's parts missing to it, um, <laughs> but I, I have strange collection. I collect outhouse stuff. Um, I know. I why I chose to start collecting outhouses for my bathroom, I, I don't know. <laughs> but it morphed into this strange wanting to find all the um, collections of outhouses out there. This one. <laughs> All we have left of Santa is his boots and his hat and his magazines. <laughs> I don't know if there was a Santa in there or what, but maybe I could find a little Santa and stick him in there. I don't know, but <laughs> this is one of my latest outhouse finds. And I and this says made in Taiwan 1981, so this will be staying with me, but <laughs> I know, it's a strange collection, right? <clears throat> okay. I found this really interesting book at the garage sale. It's called The Rose Photograph Album. And I, I'm not sure if I wanna keep it or sell it or what, I don't know. <clears throat> it's very interesting and it has all these, the slots for photos and stuff. And all that different stuff. I don't know if I want to sell it or keep it. I don't know. Would anybody be interested in something like this? It just has all the spots for um, pictures and stuff. Because if I don't sell it, I may use it for um, <clears throat> may use it for my junk journaling. So this is place your special photographs in each of these album sleeves, which feature the original hand painted illustration from a Victorian album first published in 1870. So it shows all the beautiful artwork and this is from 1996. So, but it's really cool. And I don't know if I wanna use it for like sell it. I don't know, would anybody be interested in something like this? And it does have the ties, but <clears throat> if I don't sell it, I might keep it for myself to do my junk journaling in. That's be really cool. Now, I did buy this book because um, I like to have different interesting things to do with the kids that I work with. So, this is 100 Things for Kids to Make and Do. This is really nice. Um, that'll just be kind of a neat idea, things that I might not have thought of for the stuff that I do with the kids and stuff. Make your own, make your own piggy bank and kind of neat things. Oh, paper mache rings, napkin rings, 
painted eggs. I say lots of cool things. Oh. <laughs> Even some things dressed up or Halloween stuff. <laughs> it's really cool. Oh, I remember doing stuff like this, like flattening the leaves and stuff. And pretty good thing to do this time of year. <laughs> I don't even got cooking. Oh, such cool stuff. I'll have to take a couple minutes and really go through this. <laughs> so, let's see. Okay, I have a bag back here, so I may be making a little bit of noise. <clears throat> Cause I didn't quite take everything out. I got some thank you cards. You know, I love picking up the thank you cards. And this, these are pretty. They have butterflies and flowers. And, so, there's the thank you cards. Uh, beginning cursive handwriting. Um, I do teach cursive handwriting and, and regular handwriting. So, I thought this would be kind of cool. You know, I can photocopy stuff for my kids. So, that was a good, I like that. And let's see, I picked up, this is so pretty, it was just some stationery with the pretty flowers and some cards here, some blank cards. So, yeah, that'll be nice. <laughs> Most of the time this road is so quiet, right? <laughs> the minute I start to, we do something. <laughs> no silly. Oh, goodness. Isn't that how it goes? Well, I'm hoping, guys, to do some more stuff. I, unfortunately, we're, we're down a car. And so it's hard for me to go out at the moment to get stuff. So what I think I may do is if I can't get out and about to the thrift stores, I may do something I'm calling um, re, rediscovering my reclaimed treasure. It's you know, kind of like, let's go back and see what's in my, my death pile. But I don't want to put that <laughs> like in a title, a title or whatever. But so I'm probably going to go, you know, to the back of the sheet trailer and see what I can pull out. Um, and we can rediscover my reclaimed treasures together. <laughs> so this is a really beautiful plate. And it reminds me of a left in, but I, there's no markings. Um, on the back about that. So it's one of those, um, what is it? Re oh, I know the name of it. I can't think. Is it, is it reticulated? I don't know. <laughs> but the, where the holes and it's, um, I think it's a cherry tree. It's very pretty, the design. But yeah, it doesn't have anything on the back. And that I picked up at one of the thrift stores. Let's see. Oh, well, <laughs> This one's kind of funny and I picked it up and I know it's an ashtray and I don't know you I suppose you could have them yeah, I don't know <laughs> I don't know if the verdict is out about ashtrays but I went with it anyways because I thought it was funny and it kind of looks like you could put it up in one of those plate holders and it says no you can't touch it you already broke yours off <laughs> so I will Censor our little friends there. <laughs> so they're in the bath. They're getting ready to get in the bathtub. <laughs> and it says, no, you can't touch it. You already broke yours off. And it is a Holland mold. I know you can see that in the back there. <laughs> but I just thought that was so funny. And, I, you know, you could use it for anything. You don't have to use it as an ashtray. And so let's see what else I found in here. Oh, yes. Now this, I know it's modern. Um, but I just thought the, the way they did this, it was beautiful. You could use it. And I'm pretty sure it's food safe because it's um, made in China. Yeah, dishwasher safe, microwavable, handcrafted, hand-painted, Dario Ferrucci designs. So I'll show you that. But the reason why I picked it up, this is so beautiful. Even you could, just having it as a backdrop for like Christmas and the winter holidays, isn't it gorgeous? And it, there was just one, so 
And I could have it in a display or I, you could serve, you know, maybe cookies or something. But just as a backdrop, you know, for a display, that's just gorgeous. So I picked that up. Okay, sorry about the papers. Okay. This one was at a garage sale. These two, these are so cute. They say Zurich. So I'm, well, Zurich, I think is Germany, but I don't know. That's the only thing it says. But just these cute little cows. These little salt and pepper shakers. And they say Zurich right here. So we have this one and then this one. And they have the rubber stoppers. So I just thought they were so cute. Those little faces. <laughs> and let's see. And then I saw this dish. This is so gorgeous. And this is actually a Viking import for Japan. Now again, it may be, I don't know if it's a, a holder for your chopsticks or, but it's just beautiful as a little trinket tray or dish. Just cute little tiny thing. Okay, let's see what else did I get. Oh, I got some more thank you cards, like some twink, um, Tinkerbell, and another package of these thank you cards. So I'll have those. And if you do purchase from me, you might see one of those. I kind of just mix them up and see what goes. Um, I just pick them out, you know. Now, this is really cool. This is a cute little bowl or I think it's a bowl. Yeah. And it says Switzerland. And it is a, um, I'm assuming it's a toothpick holder. But, you know, he could have a nice little air plant in there. Isn't he cute? And that it says right there, Switzerland right here. I thought that was adorable. And then I found some old wooden. Um, they don't really have any markings of where they were made. But they're really nice. It's a little flame candle ornament and a little bell. Oh, and it does. <laughs> so I thought those would be really cute, you know, for like that vintage kind of Christmas. Okay, let's see what else I have. Okay, sorry about the newspapers. Oh, these. I filmed these yesterday and it's a set of three and it looks like it was a handmade thing because it just all it says is MC on the back but it's this beautiful flower um, with a little gold in the middle I don't know what kind of it reminds me of a poinsettia but I don't know and there's that one and the third one and whoever you know made them it's really nice um, I can't, I'm, I don't know, was there an Atlantic mold? It looks like it says Atlantic mold, I don't know. But these were molds, and so you ate all three of those. And I thought these were really pretty. And they had them nice and tight together with two rubber bands, which is good. Oh, I did notice one, oh darn. Well, that's the only one though, but there's one itty bitty chip right here. But it's not, not too bad. I don't think, only noticed it because I was looking in the light, but it's not bad. Okay, got a few more things in here. And this here was, um, it looks like a man's um, shaving kit or grooming kit. And I just kind of picked it up. Haven't really checked it out, but it looks really cool. It has, um has like your comb and your, I think a shoehorn maybe, and a file and the other grooming things. And I just thought it was kind of neat. And, uh, oh, I'm trying to see what's in this box. Oh, <sighs> well, maybe this was for toothbrushes. So that was kind of neat. And it says, um, I'm not sure what that says. It may be in German. <laughs> and then it says genuine leather. Yep. Made in West, West Germany. So that might have been for the soap. But it's really cool. And then there was another little pouch here. That 
came out and it looks like they kind of just put the um paper in it to fluff it out a little bit so that's kind of cool oh wait a minute let's see oh well this is kind of cool and just in itself it's the paper that was shoved in here and it's actually it's all in german look at that i'll have to see about flattening this paper out and maybe getting a photocopy of it oh so cool and it has a thing for a dress oh like a um to make a vest or a shirt we'll see even the little treasures you get inside the little treasures how cool yeah it looks like it's another not sure i don't know kind of looks like this is maybe from the 70s or something this is really interesting well, I'll definitely have to get back to you on this. It's all in German. Neat. I have to see. My mom took German in school, so maybe she can help. And also, I don't know if you know, um, ever watched Trusty Huckster Mercantile? He's another YouTuber here on YouTube. <laughs> and his daughter studies German, so may have to send her a copy of this too that is so cool and i did i picked this up at the salvation army i just thought it was kind of neat so definitely a nice little treasure and i'm pretty sure it's zippers still i didn't even try it oh look at that zippers right up how oh, nice see even the things you pick up and you don't even realize it now, I don't know if I can top that after that was pretty cool, but, sorry about that, I did find these adorable little, I'm not sure what they're supposed to be, like just little cups or, but they have little spoons attached and there's no markings at the bottom, but they're just super cute little, little cups. I suppose you could have them for sugar or creamer or a little drink, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, and this one I thought was neat. And I do know this. This is uh, the cornflower blue pattern. But it is, um, let's see, they're stainless steel. And I'm trying to, oh, well, oh, I'm sorry. I should just show you what it is and then try to, okay. It's a knife set, but um, they put masking tape on it. Ooh. There we go. I just didn't want to ruin the actual box. So this is really neat. The, the different butter knives and things like that. So that was really cool. And then it came in the box too. That's or at least the top of the box. I don't know if there was a bottom to it. <laughs> I meant the book. Reverse. This is the bottom, and I didn't know if there was a top to it. <laughs> okay. So I thought that was pretty cool. Let's see. What's this? Oh, sorry about all the papers. Rustling there. Oh yes, this one was like really neat. It's um, it says it's a father mug, father, and it says father, warm, wise, loving, strong, who first taught me right from wrong. And it is made for treasure masters in Japan. Now I know, you know, Father's Day's passed already, but I thought this was kind of cool. And I don't know if this would be a drinking cup or a shaving cup because they it doesn't have the the other thing on the inside but i thought that was pretty cool 
And then I just have a couple of more things in here. Oh, I got a little thing of crafting, um, some flowers and some eyeballs and some jingle bells. <laughs> what a combo, right? <laughs> and let's see. Now I've got just a couple more. Oh, yes. Yeah. Now these do not have any markings at the bottom to tell me who made them, but they are so cool. They remind me of um, lusterware, but almost like a trained marbling effect on it. Okay, there's no markings at the bottom, but they're just two little, you know, two little cups. But just the design is so pretty, and it has that lustery color, like peach color. I thought those were pretty cool. And the last two things I have in here are a couple more mugs. Now I know some people have done um, different things with the the china, like the Syracuse china and then the Buffalo china. So I found two really nice coffee mugs. You know, they're pretty, they're definitely solid in that brownish green ombre pattern. And they do, they say Syracuse china. So I thought I'd give those a try, why not? And they are, you know, um, a set of two. So, coffee with a friend. Of course, with proper social distancing. <laughs> Just kidding. So here is the other one. So you can have coffee with a friend. And so that's what I had um, my little trip out yesterday. So I'm hoping to be able to, you know, to get out a little more. Um, but if, but I'm thinking I will try to do some more haul videos where it's kind of a haul of my own haul, right? <laughs> reclaim my own reclaimed treasures. So if you like what you see, uh, you could subscribe, like, or leave a comment if there was anything that you saw here today that you would like to become yours, let me know. I have a live sale every um, Sunday at four o'clock Eastern time on Reclaim Treasures by Mary. And um, these may show up in tomorrow's live sale. So enjoy the rest of your weekend and I hope to see you tomorrow on my live sale. If not, have a great weekend and stay safe. Bye.